hello everyone today i'm going to show you how to make rice paper parcel with vegetable stuffing inside with a dipping sauce this is boiled chole chickpeas and you have to mash them with the fork like this partially for all the measurements and recipes you can check my description box for your reference this perfectly mashed keep it aside Here, cut zucchini, diced carrots, moong sprouts, white part of green onion, green leaves, and here I have chopped cabbage, minced garlic. Now I'm going to powder this almond and roasted peanuts coarsely uh, powder them like this I'm going to add sesame seeds and keep them aside and I'm going to prepare now sauce this is light soya sauce dark soya sauce and I'm going to mix paprika uh, Kashmiri paprika powder and I'm going to mix this and keep it aside and heat a pan and oil add uh, garlic and saute them until they are nicely slightly in brown in color I'm going to add mashed chickpeas I'm going to saute them for two to three minutes add sauce mixture half portion i'm going to keep it aside for the vegetables this half portion i'm going to use with the chickpeas let's stir and cook for another one more minute i'm going to sprinkle more paprika powder give it a stir and uh, remove from the heat and keep it aside to cool same pan heat oil add all the vegetables give it a stir do not overcook the vegetables other it will be mushy it should be nice and crunchy these vegetables so just uh, saute them for a minute i'm going to go ahead and add remaining soya mixture and give it a stir just stir for a one more minute and switch off the flame This is cooked perfectly and transfer to a plate along with the chickpeas to cool and add green spring onions on top and sesame seeds and coarsely grounded peanuts and almond powder. This mixture tastes so good with, you know, it has uh, chickpeas, Moong sprouts, carrots, zucchini, and soya mixture flavor. We are not adding any salt, not overpowering any spices. And um, this, especially this powder, like peanut and almond and sesame seeds, you can use this as a main base for the samosa, spring roll, and rice paper. Or you can make laddu and um, fry as like, like you are frying aloo bajas. This is perfect. You know, you can make and keep in the fridge for two to three days. Let's make a dipping sauce. Here I have soya sauce. I'm going to add sesame oil, maple syrup, rice vinegar, I'm going to add more light soya sauce. And add cut coriander leaves you can you can add any sauce as you like you can add hot sauce I'm gonna add extra hot sauce I like little spicy and I'm gonna keep this in the fridge let's add the stuffing inside the rice paper 
this is rice paper you have to soak them in a warm water this is how it looks you have to soak them in warm water for for a second or two like this you can't see it's so transparent it begins to loosen remove it from the water and set it on a damp surface such as a cutting board like this i'm going to use two rice pa uh, paper it will create a thicker layer i'm going to add two or three tablespoon of veggie stuffing inside the center of the wrapper fold from the top and from the left to right and right to left and from the bottom to top continue folding all four sides of the rice paper until seal completely it's completely wrapped repeat for the next same way add the stuffing and folding all four corners properly sealing them arrange this and keep on a plate perfect now let's fry these babies add very few drops of oil and pan fry them sear the parcel about two to three minutes on each side you can make this veg stuffing and keep in the fridge for two or three days you can add even chicken seared chicken shredded and uh, this is great for the kids also for lunch for the tiffin box and for the office also and this is so delicious believe me and when you eat this with the dipping sauce you get all type of flavor you can serve this with dry rice like um, saffron rice or ghee rice or salad leaves and dipping sauce i hope you try this recipe and love you guys and god bless you and don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel ciao moment of truth i'm gonna have this this is so delicious that you know chickpeas flavor and crunchiness from sprouts cabbage and carrot it's not overpowering with spices and uh, you know oh my i love that almond and sesame seeds and peanut flavor just delicious you must try this recipe